Hey, what's going on again, everybody? DroidLife.com here. Just a few minutes ago, we brought you a video showing the Droid Mod 1.0 updater, which allowed us to have five screens, live wallpapers, you know, and a bunch of other goodies that, you know, we probably won't get with our Android 2.0, or I'm sorry, 2.1 update when it comes from Verizon. So, what we want to show you now, though, is that we got all these live wallpapers actually working with their touch touch functionality um, once we went back and installed the launcher 2.1 so remember this 3d launcher that we had that had some bugs to it well if you go ahead and install this after you've installed the droid mod um, update then you get all the functionality that you're supposed to get so showing you first is the nexus wallpaper and you can see everywhere I'm touching it's giving me you know those little crosshairs and all kinds of action going on you see that so pretty cool stuff there uh, let's go ahead and show you the water one which like I said before is everyone's favorite with the whole rippling water effect so let's get right into that one so you can check this out that is if it wants to load for us let's just go ahead and hit set and see where we get okay so water one see if I touch there we get ripples and puddles and all that good stuff so we still have you know our leaves slowly moving through like that but now we can touch and get ripples every single time so pretty cool stuff um, the only one I didn't show you in that last video was the grass now the grass is not an interactive one but it's very cool um, it changes at night so that you know when it's nighttime like it is here in Portland it goes stars and the dark grassy view and you can see the grass moving in the wind and all that stuff so um, very cool stuff um, we've updated the post over at the blog which is droid-life.com to include the link to the 2.1 launcher so you can go ahead and install that once you've done this droid mod 1.0 update and then you should have live wallpapers working like crazy um, one thing I would do want to point out is I have my CPU um, you know app running up there in the background and when I got these live wallpapers going um, it doesn't necessarily drop down into awesome CPU usage you know I get you know about halfway in the green up there that's about as low as it'll go and it'll jump back up into yellow so well you got these live wallpapers running your phone's definitely working quite a bit harder than it would be without it but if you overclock it to 800 megahertz like I've done you shouldn't really have a problem and you shouldn't notice any performance in your phone dropping down so if you've got questions comments concern as always leave them at the YouTube channel or at the blog droid-life.com we're out, peace.